This is Darren Morley with RebootCongress.net. Right now I'm at a fundraiser for Erica Harold. It's just wrapped up. Erica is a candidate for Congress in Illinois' 13th Congressional District. The 13th Congressional District stretches as far west as the Mississippi River and as far south as Collinsville and Edwardsville. It's a pretty large district and the current representative, Rodney Davis, uh, has been serving there since the 2012 election. Davis has an embarrassing 42 percent score from Heritage Action and is barely better on the Freedom Works score where he got a 43 percent. Former presidential candidate and CEO of Godfather's Pizza, Herman Cain, introduced Erica this evening. We are divided nation between the political class and the working class. Think about the founding fathers. They were told that they couldn't win that revolution. They were told that you can't start an experiment called the United States of America. But they didn't listen because America was an attitude back then, just like America is an attitude now. But instead of an attitude of the political class, America represents the attitude the inspiration of the working class. And I'm proud to be here with you and be a part of it and to support Erica to send her to Washington, D.C. so she can work harder than she's ever worked before in her life. Miss Harold was born in Urbana, Illinois, and is a former Miss America, having won her crown in 2003. And she's smart to boot, having earned her law degree in 2007 from Harvard University. I'd like to tell you just a little bit about myself, how I became a conservative, and why I'm crazy enough to want to go to Washington, D.C. <laughs> and I promise I won't go there and drink the water. <laughs> I didn't grow up in a very political family. I grew up in a family, though, that stressed hard work and good work ethics. We were taught that nothing's going to be handed to you, that if you want something, you have to be willing to work for it, and you have to give it your best. I actually became a conservative when I was a college student at the University of Illinois. Most people do not go to college and become a conservative. <laughs> but it is possible. In Illinois as well. But for me, I was studying political science and history, and I started reading our country's foundational documents for myself. I was reading the Constitution, and I fell in love with our Declaration of Independence, the Federalist Papers, and the framework of our government. And it sounds cheesy, but there's an elegance and a power and a beauty with the way in which our founders constructed the Constitution and the way in which they put together our system of governance. And then when I started looking at the histories of countries where they centralized power, those were always the countries that were less prosperous. Those were always the countries where the people were less free. And then I started looking at the countries where they had the people at the forefront of the government. Those were the countries where people had the right incentives to start the businesses, to create the jobs, and to ultimately live out that American dream. And I wasn't setting out to find out what my political philosophy was, but I realized in that moment, I'm a conservative, and it just clicked. I decided to run because I want to take that sense of constitutionalism back to governance. So often people's starting point for policy is what do they think is a good idea? No. The starting point is what does the Constitution say about it? The second question you ask is, is this even the role of the federal government to do it? If it's not, then whether you think it's a good idea or not is sort of irrelevant. And I want those to be the kind of questions that we ask more often. To watch Herman Cain or Erica Harold's complete remarks, please follow the link in the description or click one of the videos below. For RebootCongress.net, this is Darren, and I'd appreciate it if you'd like, share, and favorite this video.